Hello House Church. I'm April Hammonds, Jerry's wife. Uh, I wanted to come on today and just share with you a little bit about me and about uh, fear and creativity, specifically. Uh, I started painting about three or four years ago after my mother passed away and I went through, uh, I remarried to Jerry about three years ago. And um, I started doing pores, pore painting, acrylic fluid art. And so um, several of you have bought my art like that. And uh, then I have also started something about a year and a half ago called intuitive abstract art. And so um, it's ab large abstract paintings. And I wanna share a little bit of, about my whole journey. God has used art and creativity and nature to be very healing to my soul. And I continue to, to find my greatest peace while I'm creating or out in nature. I, when I first started painting, doing the pores, I, uh, I enjoyed it, but I thought, God, this, I'm spending so much money and half the time it wouldn't turn out well and I would be disappointed. And so when I was doing the pours for the first year or so, I just really learned, like when I would first pour, I'd be like, oh, it's so beautiful. But then you have to tilt and you have to do different things with it. And it might end up being completely messed up because I didn't have enough experience yet with it. And I didn't allow myself the grace to know that it took time to get better. And so I'll get really frustrated and I was like, I'm not gonna do this anymore. And then I would do another one. And um, I just began to learn about letting go. And I was really going through that in my life too. Just learning, I started having some anxiety and different things. It's the best season of my life. And I guess just the past was catching up. And um, so as I began to do art, I would uh, really just be reminded constantly, like let go, breathe. Like when I would pour the paint, I'd be like, breathe. Like it's gonna be beautiful. Let go, trust the process, you know? And so then I started doing the intuitive abstract painting, which is probably my favorite and what I've learned the most from uh, that I've been doing for about a year and a half. And when I, I took some classes and I've read some books and I've done some things. And so intuitive abstract painting is you start with, you know, very just all kinds of colors and marks and there's layers, you know, your first layer may just be just, you know, you're dancing and you're getting color on a canvas and it's just fun and it's just the idea that you're just pouring out of yourself onto the canvas while, you know, before I start, I've stretched, I've lit, light a candle, um, burn sage if you do that, um, and turn on some music that, that moves me. And so then as you get towards the end, you know, a, a few layers in, you enter into what, uh, Flora Boley, the person whose classes I've taken, calls an ugly teenager phase. Like you don't really know where your painting is going yet because it's all intuitive. Like you're just trusting that whatever is supposed to come out of you is gonna come out of you. And so like I, I have things hanging around my little studio here that say, uh, here's one that says, I embrace the creative process with patience and trust. Like that, all of these lessons through art like work in my life like God has taught me to trust when everything is crazy trust when my painting is getting crazy and I'm thinking have I wasted all these hours and all my money on these supplies trust breathe every mark that you make on the canvas is supposed to be there like it's all supposed to be there it's it all matters and it is all going to come out to this beautiful end and so every time so I've done about five five or six large abstract intuitives that I have finished and I've sold three or four of them. And um, I didn't really even go in with the intention of selling them actually, but that's been a blessing. But um, I, you know, I, it may be the day before and I still don't know where the painting is going and then all of a sudden it'll start just taking shape and I stand back and I see something and I do and I do and it just, it, it just always comes into being. And so it's, it's, it's just a kind of art where you go in and you learn to let go, breathe, be patient, and trust. And so w with being creative comes the fear. So then when I first made my Facebook page to share my art, sharing art is a very vulnerable feeling, right? You have to believe that 
It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about my art. This is me putting color into the world, putting beauty into the world that God has put into me to pour out. And there is a lot of fear and a lot of vulnerability there. And so to push past that fear and vulnerability and be willing to share with the world. And some people are going to like it and some people are not. And it's okay. And um, so I just want to speak to you and just say, you know, there's a song that I love that says, there is fear in the facet of everything we see telling us to be scared when all we ever are is free. And so I just want to tell you, like, like sometimes I'm sketching little leaves or things I see in nature so that I can take those forms and I can put it on my abstract art because I don't have all the skills of drawing it to use on a paintbrush to put into my abstract stuff. So it's a learning process, right? And so, you know, when I first said, well, I'm not doing as well as this lady, then I could have just quit. But like, you know, um, one artist I saw said, you know, do the work. It may take a hundred paintings to get to your own specific style. You know, you get better every time. And so, but, but also embracing the beauty that is with each piece of art that you do. And so, um, anyway, I just, I have found art to be very healing. Um, all the lessons that I learned there, let go, be fearless and play, embrace, uh, what is, um, make bold new marks, trust the process, um, be still and know that I am. Um, every mark, everything is, is, that's there is going to be used for ultimate beauty in the end. Everything, even if the mark is covered up, the texture of that mark is going to be part of the fullness of the whole beauty, which is what I hope the same with our lives, right? We make mistakes. We have things all of our life that every little piece, every mark we've made in our life is going to be part of our full, beautiful story. And if we're just brave enough to share ourselves and brave enough and courageous enough to let go and push through fear, then um, we will be living our fullest creative life. So thank you. Bye.